Happy holidays from all my bariatric people. The holidays are a time of celebration, which often means food and alcohol and questionable choices. They can be full of nostalgia, but ultimately temptation. Imagine you show up to a holiday party and you're immediately greeted with a glass of champagne from a close friend. Next, you see a large buffet table filled with your favorite meats, sides, desserts, cookies. God, I'm drooling. <laughs> how do you deal with this? And how do you deal with it once you've had surgery? And how do you deal with all that temptation and social pressure? Well, that's why we're here. Welcome back to Bariatrics 101 for bariatricfood.com. Here are five tips for surviving the holidays as a bariatric patient. Now, I'm not one to judge somebody that wants to let their hair down during the holidays, but the holidays can represent the beginning of less than healthy behavior. I'm not someone that labels food as good or bad. In most instances, there is a time and place for almost anything. And you know what? It's the holidays, man. Here's tip number one, pregame. Eat a protein-rich meal or snack before an event. If you're going to a party, this will hopefully fill you up, hopefully killing any of that hunger horror. It also frees you up to enjoy a couple of other things, knowing that you've already done your homework and fed your body with protein and nutrients. Uh, tip number two, strategic positioning. Situate yourself from the appetizers or buffet table to avoid the oh-so-common, well, it's here, so I'ma eat it. <laughs> Look, nobody loves holiday appetizers as much as me, no doubt. I can put them back with the best of them. Finding a space or a corner at the celebration that's out of sight of the party food can help you keep away from that mindless eating you get when you're with people with access to a bottomless party platter. There's also a bit of monkey see, monkey do here. It's hard to be around people eating and not wanting to indulge, especially now with your bite-sized stomach. Tip number Number three, bring a side dish you can share. So one of the anxiety provoking things that you can experience during a holiday party is worrying if you're gonna have something there that you can enjoy and not feel guilty about. To fix this, bring something with you that's protein rich and familiar with you that you can share with others. Maybe a recipe you found on YouTube or a cucumber salad or a veggie platter. Trust me, there will be people there that appreciate the option. Tip number four, survey the buffet table before getting your plate. So before diving in, scope out the situation. I call this doing a flyby. Just take a walk over the party table and see if there's anything that really catches your eye. Grab a small plate. Small plates are a great tool and try aiming for a protein, maybe some veggies, and if necessary, a small portion of a carb that you just can't live without. After that, a Christmas cookie is not gonna be the end of the world. By the time you're looking at the cookies, hopefully you're satisfied enough to eat responsibly. So finally, tip number five, cocktail camouflage. So if you're in your first year of surgery, you may not be drinking alcohol still. Alcohol in social situations can be tricky, much like saying alcohol in social situations. Don't let people pressure you into having a drink if you're trying to avoid them. I personally hate that weird social pressure you get when people are drinking and they're encouraging you also to drink. You feel like there's, there's a giant spotlight on you and it certainly gets uncomfortable. If you choose not to drink, but you don't want people asking why, consider asking the bartender for a cocktail glass with some water, a splash of juice and a lime wedge because well, we like it fancy. Uh, I call this cocktail camouflage and it works like a charm. Hopefully with these tips and a little bit of practice, you can confidently get through the holidays with your head held high. My point here is it's important to find a healthy balance. Just as it's harmful to completely go off script, it's also very harmful to deprive yourself. Holding yourself back all the time eventually starts coming out in other ways. It's important to recognize the conflict and address it in very small and supportive ways, just like the ones that we just talked about. And again, and I can't stress this enough, no judgment here. Please just be careful and be kind to yourself and have a good holiday. And I'll be here for more tips in the new year. So happy holidays and we'll catch you later.